Good morning, everybody. Heading down to this place I got the other day where, you know, I found the Cat Bust Half Dime and the Half Real. Got one button. Um, the actual permission part was fairly trashy, and I got the better stuff right near the edge, which butts up to another field. So I was able to get in contact with the landowner, explain my intentions. I did this one over phone. I left a message, they did call me back. Uh, they seemed very cool about it. I did say, hey, you know, if I find something cool or whatever, you know, I don't mind giving something back to them and I'll even mail it to them. That's how you get um, good permissions or better permissions. You know, you offer references. You say, hey, if you're interested in the history of your area, of your property, you know, I'll give you a couple of things. And that's the way you do it. And most people are pretty cool with that. And um, they'll usually, you know, give you the permission. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to head down there. And one other thing I did have to say is that not every area or not every historic site will be on the internet. There are some places that I have and are still looking for that can only be found in books. And these books are hard to come by. These books can get expensive. But, you know, you got to think outside the box. You know, the internet is a great tool, but so are books. So I'll leave it at that, and we'll catch you guys when we get down there. All right, guys, we're here at the site. Check it out. A little bit overgrown. I mean, it looks nice, but, I mean, we're still going to putz around and see what we can find. You know, maybe it'll die off in the uh, fall or winter. You know, I'm not quite sure but we're gonna give it a shot also wanted to show you guys or at least for the newbies the gear i use and everything so let's get at it and what i bring with me every day all right got ourselves a sand scoop in case you're beach hunting got ourselves a cooler with a couple of gatorades always have that recommend that on these hot days we have got a pouch there with my pin pointer got to have the pin pointer helps you find the target once you're in the hole pair of gloves another pouch if i need it or i just have two pouches in here uh deep woods spray especially out here in these fields are a little overgrown you're going to get some ticks and chiggers uh red bugs um small first aid kit just in case because you never know uh, i have a multi-tool up front that sometimes i'll carry with me but i definitely always leave it in my car got two shovels got a bigger one for the fields smaller one for yards and parks and as usual, there's my Equinox 600. I'm running earbuds today because it's so hot. Um, so that's what I usually do, and they're wired. So that's pretty much it. Um, I got a chair back here too, but there's no really reason for that. So let's get to the next hole. All right, guys, first target. Not quite sure. Well, it looks like it was a coin at one time and turned into something. It's a little bit crusty sort of like the size of a half cent but could just be some kind of a drawer pull handle or a scutch and who the hell knows but i'll clean it up more when i get home all right still out here it's like a target came out of there not quite sure on this one get it to focus got like a little bit of fancy on it Maybe either from a buckle or something off of like a musket. I have no idea, but we're going to keep going. Guys, I am dying out here, already sweating, see? And I hadn't even been out here that long. Uh, next reasonable target is a weedy, but we'll show at least one. I think it's like 1913. Well, this is an early one. So, But the soil seems to be fairly kind here. So we'll keep going. All right, this is a pretty cool target. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but leaning towards some kind of, I don't know, coat hook or something fancy. Looks old though. All right, let's keep at it. All right, guys, we're still out here. Finds have been pretty slim because this grass is super high. I might have to come back in the winter or the fall. Unless they plow it up or something. This is a little ridiculous. Um, did get a little uh, brass nail or brass ship spike, some people call them. You know, so that's pretty old. So maybe there's some more stuff here. 
Here's some kind of old piece of brass. You find a lot of these on old sites. You don't even know what it came from. It looked like it may have had like some kind of shape at one time and a hole through it, but we'll never know. Let's keep going. Man, talk about a hot day. Look, I'm sweating like you can, you can see the crap glistening off my arms. I don't know. But the grass is just too high here. It's too much of a pain in the butt. We're just going to have to hit it in the fall or the winter. Um, we'll try one more spot on the way home that, you know, hopefully is the grass is cut. Uh, won't be quite as old, but, you know, that's where we're at today. And I'll let you know what we get on the next hole. Hopefully at least a Merc or a Barber or something. Oh, all right, guys. It's been a slow go at the new spot. Some clad and a wheat, but got our first silver of the day. Let's flip it around. Came out from down there. Can you see it? Yeah, let's see what it is. Probably a Merc, but a Barber would be nice. Oh, well, rub your rosy. Let's see. Ha, just made it. Last year of sower, but hey, I'll take it. Keep going. The heat is killing me. I'm probably going to be leaving soon, but the first Indian of the day. Let's take a peek together. There you go. This one is 1907. You can barely see it. It got a little bit of sweat on it, but... Always a blast finding Indian head pennies. There's the one cent. I'll probably give this one back to this church so that way they can keep it. Let's keep going. Well, guys, it's got a little bit too hot to uh, justify the things I was finding. So I'm headed home and we'll do a wrap up. And like I said, on the first spot, hopefully the farmer will plow it or whatever. Or it'll die down in the winter. I don't know, but it's just too hard to swing. So talk to you soon. Bye. All right, folks, we're back at home. We'll do the wrap up. Um, unfortunately, not a whole lot this hunt. The weather sort of stopped me with uh, the heat. And, you know, the first place was just so overgrown, I couldn't do much. So here we go. Let's take a peek. First thing is some kind of, I don't know, antique coat hook or something. It's definitely old. A little bit of fancy on it. The item I thought was a coin, I'm pretty sure is not. Some kind of washer. End piece of something. I don't really see much on it. So it had me going for a minute, though. It's a little fancy little piece as well. Could have come from a buckle. Piece off of a musket. No idea. It's definitely old, though. Got on two Wheaties, one 1913, one 1940. Got one silver, 1964D, Rosie. Had to rub your Rosie. Oldest coin of the day that's identifiable. Be a 1907 Indian. I'm gonna give that one back to the church. So, pretty cool though. Always nice finding those. So that's pretty much it, guys. We will... Catch you on the next hole and the next time. Hey everybody, just wanted to include uh, these two short clips from uh, a hunt that I never made a full episode of, uh, so check them out. Let me know what you think. Alright everybody, I've been poking around at this uh, old school site. Let's take a listen, uh, do a live dig. That sounds like a silver dime to me. Well, let's keep going. Alright. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it all the way, but we'll cut back in. Alright, there's the plug. Let's pop it together. Let's go in. It's deeper. It's tough to do with one hand. Mm. 
You guys see it? It is a silver dime. Well, let's see what it is together. Uh, 1941 Merc. We'll take it all day, every day. No mint mark, but it looks great. All right, let's keep going. All right, everybody, we're on a brand new permission. Check this out. First decent signal. I've been digging up aluminum scrap. That looks like a little baby silver, maybe even a half dime. So let's see together. I don't have any foo foo, whatever. Let's clean it up and come back. All right, there she is. That's a beautiful thing. 1841 half dime. These things don't come up much. Let's keep at it. 